Hello, and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to look at creating subpage lists inside of Google Sites. This is a really convenient way to show a whole list of pages on one particular page without having to go through the trouble of linking it back to that main page. So I'll show you what that'll look like. We'll also spend some time creating a template so students can do this on their own very easily. We'll start on our electronic portfolio page, specifically the writing samples page. So let's say, for example, I wanted to include a long list of writing samples or, proje or writing projects that I've done throughout the year. Now, typically, we'd create a new page for each one and then make sure that they go underneath writing samples or we link them back to this page manually. Well, that can be very time consuming and also confusing if you, if you get it in the wrong place. So to help alleviate that, we're going to use what's called a subpage list. So I'm going to click on my edit button. And then I'm going to go to insert and subpage listing. And the subpage listing will be, we'll call it my writing. Now it says show subpages of. Now it's automatically set to writing samples, which is where we want it to be. If we want to change that, we can certainly select either of those options. And then on the bottom of the page, it has an option for appearance. The left gadget has a title, the right one does not. So for this case, we'll take the one with the title, then click Save. And when I'm done, I'll click Save on my page. Now notice that the page listing is blank. And that's the way it's supposed to be because nothing's under writing samples just yet. So what we're going to do now is create a template that students can use if this was your site or their own site that would take some of the navigation piece out of it. So where it says more, I'm going to click on more and then I'm going to say save as page template. The template will be called my writing. And then this is for a new writing assignment. Where it says the default location, instead of top level, I'm going to click change and want to make sure that it's under my, my writing samples. Click select and then save. And again, now I can delete some of the stuff that's on this page. So I'll delete the writing list. And then here's my my writing template. And you'll see why this is important. When we go back to our when we go back to our site, we have a writing samples page and we still have the my writing subpages. But now, from now on, anytime I click new page, so I'll call this writing assignment one. I'm going to choose the template writing or my writing. It's going to automatically put it underneath writing samples. And then when I click create, it's going to take me to a new page called writing assignment one. Now here's where I can actually go back and insert. I could type right into it. I can insert it and embed a Google Doc, which is what I'm going to do right here. So we'll go ahead and pick a Google Doc. Click select and save. And I'm embedding a Google Doc that I've created. And when I, when I go back to my writing samples, my writing assignment one automatically shows up in that list. Again, it sounds a little bit confusing to start, but as you start writing or as you start creating more subpages, as you can see, this list may get very long on the side. So it's an easy way to navigate without having to create links on your own. Again, this has been how to use subpages inside of a Google site to avoid those navigational problems.